welcome back to my channel. So today's video is my 31 week pregnancy update. Um, there is a lot to talk about in this update. First of all, uh, I want to say that this week I feel so good, like great, full of energy, even if I am kind of exhausted. Uh, I'm full of energy. I want to do everything around the house. I want to go to work like I'm not like on the downstage. I'm really full of energy and that's pretty fun. Honestly. The funniest thing is that we just got out of a cold. Elliot got the cold, then I got it and now Nathan has it. So that is really something fun for me to feel uh, full of energy because we when we had the cold it was really hard. So uh, for the, my third trimester, this week is pretty much my best week, if I can say. Uh, she is still moving a lot, uh, like crazy, all the time. There's not one moment that I don't feel her move. And she started to kick like right in the ribs. So that means she's growing pretty fast and um, it's pretty, like it, it really hurts, honestly. If you feel like if you've gone to through pregnancy and till this stage it's fun to feel moving movements and all like I love it it's my favorite part of pregnancy but they are starting to hurt so this week I only gained one pound so I'm pretty proud of myself I am now 17 pounds more than my pre-pregnancy weight uh, I'm pretty proud of myself because with Elliot it was horrible how many pounds I gained and even if I'm close to the weight that I was with Elliot, um, I don't feel like in, in my body, my face and stuff, I don't feel as bloated and stuff as I did with Elliot. So I'm pretty proud of myself. But except for that, there's not much to say um, for that part of uh, the update, meaning like cravings are like usual. I drink a lot of water. I am terribly hot. Uh, it's so warm outside. It was cold and we got a cold and it started to be warm again. So that pretty much sucks. Um, I'm bloated like usual um, at night and stuff like that. That's like the normal stuff. Now for the exciting stuff. Uh, I did get my ultrasound this week like I said in my previous update. Um, Unfortunately, I do not have a picture of her and I'll explain why. So I went in to get my ultrasound. Uh, the major cause of the ultrasound was to look at my placenta if it went back up. Um, so I don't have to have a, an emergency, um, not an emergency, but a planned C-section. So that was like the main reason why I had this uh, ultrasound. And guess what? It went back up. Yay! So my placenta is at the right place. It is far enough from my the bottom. So I do not need a planned C-section. I'm so relieved, honestly. Like I don't mind C-sections, but I was kind of afraid of them. I don't know why. Like everybody gets them even my mom got one and like my friend got one and like there's nothing to be scared about but I was kind of nervous um, but yeah I don't have to except if it's an emergency one obviously but for now I don't have to uh, plan any c-sections in advance or anything so that's pretty exciting another thing that I was kind of worried about uh, was the fact that it was still a girl uh, I don't know why I just had that mindset that I was like oh they're gonna tell me it's a boy and I'm gonna be s not sad but like shocked because I already have everything for a baby girl and stuff like that but we did really uh, she showed me again hundred a hundred percent sure it's a girl guys it's a girl and that did not change and that is also a relief on my shoulders if I could say it's kind of weird but it is a relief so her head is still down and it's funny because of the position she's in her um, head is down her back like my belly like this my belly is her back and then where I feel like the kicks and like the hardest movements is her little butt uh, yeah so 
it's pretty funny. Uh, she, I'm so happy. If I, yeah, I'm so happy that uh, she's head down because I just hope she's not gonna flip again. And the funny thing about the fact that she's head down is that the girl, uh, while she was doing my ultrasound, she wanted to measure like her head and like take her measurements. And her head is really, 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 really low. Like, really low down there. Um, and I was always wondering why I felt those shocks, like, that hard. I know during the pregnancy you can feel the shocks on your pelvic bone and stuff like that. But, sh like, I would, like, stop and I had trouble walking and stuff. And that is why, because her head is right there. Like, it's really, really low. So, that's pretty cool. So, I don't I don't really think she's going to flip back because her head is, like, really in, like, in place, if I can say. Um, and, yeah, so the girl had a lot of trouble to measure her head. We did not see her face, uh, like, as clear. She tried, uh, but, like... There was no way. She's looking towards my back, so I can't. We couldn't to get any really good shot shots of her face, and that is why I don't have any ultrasound pictures. It kind of sucks because Nathan couldn't be there with me, and uh, he really wanted to see her. But um, yeah, because of the way she's placed, we couldn't have any pictures. So the ultrasound in general went super super great all the measurements are great also my uh, uterus height is perfect the only thing that the doc my doctor told me uh, because my doctor was there with the girl that was doing my ultrasound and the only thing the doctor told me is that uh, I'm estimated to a 45 percentile uh, like a, she's in the 40 45th percentile so it is a smaller baby but that doesn't really um worry me because he told me that for elliot and elliot was eight pounds three ounces so that is not a small baby but even if i do have like a six seven pound baby honestly it doesn't matter as long as she's healthy and over the five pounds five pounds baby um like limit so like i don't really mind i just want her to be healthy and happy and yeah so it doesn't doesn't really worry me but yeah so that's pretty much it for my update guys i'll show you guys my bump i am so full right now so um it, i'm kind of more kind of bloated if i can say but this is my bump Those are my old stretch marks, guys. Don't mind. Um, but I don't know why. I just feel like she dropped or something. Don't mind my little extra thing. But I just feel like she's lower. But anyways. But it's good news. Like for my, I don't know why the lighting, like the sun just left. But so sorry for the lighting. But um. Yeah, since my placenta is at the right place and stuff, uh, in two weeks I have my other appointment and they're going to be able to check me if I'm effaced or dilated or anything. So that is going to take a huge weight off my shoulders just because of the cramping I had and I talked about in my other update. So I am pretty excited for that. But yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!